Hi, I'm Heath Hoffbauer, Vice President Hanko Boats, and I'm out here test running our 2484 3CCV. The model code 2484 is basically the dimensions of the hull. It's 24 foot long, 84 inches wide at the bottom, or 7 foot. 3CCV is a three sided center console V bottom. I'm starting at the bow. This is a commercial boat. Starting at the front, we have a anchor rope locker, which has a bulkhead and drain out the hull. It's completely separate for the next compartment. It also has overboard drains in this track. We have our storage in our front deck. If you want to kind of look in here at our oversized hatch. It's a really big storage. And then we have our collision bulkhead. So that's the bulkhead for the anchor rope locker, which is sealed well to solid on the other side. Dry storage, you can see we have one of our test run life jackets in here. Collision bulkhead, airtight double bottom, which starts from the collision bulkhead and goes all the way back to the stern. This floor is airtight, pressurized. This boat is also foam filled. I missed that on previous videos where we injected with foam solid, we slug well the holes, so it's foam filled in a airtight sealed double bottom so you don't get water in a foam mixture which creates problems in aluminum boats in about 20 years. So that's how we set it up. Cleat on the bow, cleats on the side. We have our wide rails. The decking on this boat is the heavy duty sea deck. is storm gray over black. Uh, this particular boat is for Santa Rosa County, Florida. We put their logo on it. Nice little setup for them. A lot of room. If you'll get around to the front, I'll take you to the console area. Uh, we built um, quite a few of these boats in the, this Florida area, and um, this is a customer that seen one of the other jobs we did and ordered the same thing. Um, this is a 60 gallon fuel tank, and it has a folding table work desk. So this has a pin that you would pull a pin. You would fold it down and get it out the way, pin it close, and you have a lot of room. So moving to the console, this is our three-sided center console. It's all 316 with a hard top. Three pieces of glass, windshield wiper. We have instru instrument box storage. Up top, this boat has some good lighting on it. We have floodlights front and rear, remote control searchlight. Horn, navigation lights, wiper. And if you come around here, I want to show you this feature. This is the um, enclosed plastic. So it makes a cabin for the winter to get you out the weather, but it also rolls up. You don't have to have it down. I just have it down in the video. Because right now it's about 86 degrees. It's pretty hot. Plenty of walkway on each side with a rock wide rails and we have a center mooring cleat. Um, they pull up to a lot of boats to check them and you know kind of patrol the area so they can throw buoys over the side not to scratch anybody's pretty fiberglass boat. Walking to the back, you've seen on some of our previous models it's more common to have a deck. Um, we also do it where we you have access all the way to the stern and we have a center compartment. So we have space on each side, center compartment, let me see Colin's shoes, <laughs> two batteries, battery switch, everything's really neat and easy to get to. That's really important in a boat, having everything set up for the customer. We also have, this is what we call a gill bracket. So the 24 foot measurement is to here, plus we have two feet on the back and that's where the motor mounts. So the boat is actually 26 foot from where the jack plate mounts to the front. Uh, we call this a gill bracket. Some people call it a swim platform, but it's lower to the water and it brings the motor off the hull. So you get a little better speed out of it and um, you get access to the back of the boat. Um, it will have a ladder on here. It's not installed yet. So that's a basic walkthrough going around. Um, it has a 200 horsepower Suzuki motor that is the four-cylinder engine 
With the 200 Suzuki, this boat does run 47 miles an hour light, like the test run. Once it is completely full of fuel and gear, basically you got a 44 mile an hour boat. Um, it is maximum horsepower on this hull is a single 350 or a dual 150. It's all about the weight and the capacity. It has a nine person capacity or 3,825 pounds person motor and gear. You will see a lot of different configurations of our 2484 hull. Everything from cabins, center console, walk through windshields. We basically take our hulls and we offer different configurations on the floor plan. From there, I'm going to zip up the plastic, take you for, do a little tour of the accessories on the console and show you some of our work. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna zip up the plastic and then take you for, through a tour on the inside of the console. Okay, I have rolled up the plastic and now I have a regular center console set up. So showing you at the console, uh, like I previously stated, we have a um, instrument box storage up here, which is all welded in. Starting at the top, we have our VHF radio antenna. We have internal lighting. Wiper. On the console, it's all 316. We have a shelf on the top. Starting on this side, we, this boat has a six inch jack plate, trim tabs, horn, Suzuki controls. This is the 200 DF200. This is the cable engine. So we have our mechanical controls, tachometer, monitor system, fuel gauge, key switch, hydraulic steering, C-Star steering, accessory socket, power, nav lights, cabin lights, spreader front, spreader back, electronics, the customer right now is just going to be the VHF, but you can add radar and other things. We have a spare so you can expand, wiper, and the bilge. The bilge pumps on our boat, they're set up with, this is the manual override, okay? The automatic goes directly to the battery and bypasses the perco switch. So if you ever get water in the boat, the bilge pump's just gonna come on. Um, this is the LED go light that's on the roof, the remote control. We have a shelf slash footrest under the console. And like a previous viewer asked was, how do you have an airtight double bottom and get the rigging through? You can't see it, and I will, make, I will show a construction video in a later date, but we have a floor track. So the riggings come up right here, and there's a U-shaped track that's welded in with a top cap, and it is pressurized and sealed. And all we simply do is we have a hole for the riggings to come up, and they go through the back. The seating on this boat was the customer choice. They wanted open, open storage in the back. You've seen on previous models where we had this where it folds up. This is actually open. And we still have some of the rear curtain down, but they have compartments to store their stuff in. That is a quick walkthrough. Um, anything I missed talking about on the video, look at the specs at the end, as far as draft speed, length overall, all of the particulars. And if you'd like further information, um, look at the contact uh, email, Lawrence Jr. at Hankos.com. He is our uh, Vice President of Commercial Sales Division. He will get back to you quick, and he can send you sketches and plans of any configuration um, you pretty much want. With that being said, we're going to take it out, take it for a little test run. I'm going to shoot some video, Colin driving, and um, we'll show you the performance. And thanks for watching.
the turn of 